respond to this notion that security, privacy, and um, freedom of expression are somehow things that we have to trade off against one another? You know, my idea of a secure internet is not a place where we have to do that, but, but maybe it is. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I think she may took it, and now I'm the one who doesn't have much to say.
if there is a kill switch or if there's a condition like what is happening in Syria, why there is a need of a freedom box, a small plug server which can actually take the images and stuff which is going down and put it on an international forum and where everyone can see it and ask your government why certain things have been done this way. So suddenly there is the entire sink is there. Free speech issues are there, there are privacy issues, there is infrastructural issues, net neutrality in one country plays out to be differently, telecommunications issues, everything is out there and there's so many people who are debating about it. And there's so much confusion. As Shiva said, laws are very national, but when when the interactions become so international, then people tend to forget the clear lines between the laws. I've heard so many debates about free speech and expression in India. People just feel a sense, oh, I'm online, I should have free speech rights. But we forget our free speech rights were never as broad as the First Amendment rights. We've never been able to exercise the rights in that manner. So there is that fuzzy line which is happening because of this separate space the online world, which seems to be different from offline world. I don't think there has to be a border, but there's definitely not very mature understanding from part of the authorities uh, about why this all is happening. They're making efforts, I'm sure, or they, if they're not, they should be. And uh, industry, of course, is doing their bit of making what they best do, taking care of their shareholders' interest. And, uh, we are doing what we best do, trying to understand this new medium and becoming actual citizens of the world. Mr. Kumar, who, by the way, is not wearing a black suit. I just want to state that for the record. You should have spoken earlier, because then you wouldn't have had all these challenging comments to respond to, but now you do.